You look sick. I'll take you to nursery. You haven't got enough time. You're still asleep. Anyway, don't want to let her out of my sight. Now listen, you go back to bed. I'll tell Roy you're not well. I'm not. You'll understand. You were off your head yesterday. Hardly slept. My stomach's still churning. I can ring the doctor for you. Make an appointment. No, I'll be alright. Why do you think Brenda said all those things? Because she's bitter and twisted. I can't believe how angry she was. I know I'm not best real father, but Neil didn't take any part in her life. He never laid eyes on her. Whereas I love her. She might as well be mine. I know. Let's forget it. I'll see you later. Oh, Todd, if um you see my mum. Yeah, she's bound to have heard something. I'll tell her. It's all sorted now. Everything's fine. You sure you're okay? Yeah. There you are, love. So where's Sarah? She's late. Give her a chance, dear. It's only just gone eight o'clock. I uh, just wanted to let you know Sarah's not coming in today. She's not very well. You mean she's going to be off work again? Well, that's understandable under the circumstances. What circumstances? Nothing happened. The child was missing all day. She was with her grandmother. We didn't know that. Yeah, and Father Christmas. You were having the time of her life. Well, we weren't. I feel sorry for that poor kid having to be tied to her mother's apron strings all day. Something wrong. Only I heard there was a problem. It was a misunderstanding. Yeah, another excuse to have time off work. She didn't have swing the lead, that lass of yours. When I were her age, I were in a factory. You didn't have a baby to look after, Vera? No, I didn't. I don't suppose there's anything I can do. No, thanks, we're okay. Everything's fine. So you don't think going to the flat would be a good idea? Well, I believe she's resting. Yeah, she's resting. I'm slaving, what's new? Thank you, Vera. Yeah, and thank you, Sarah. She's always messing me around. Vera, will you shit yourself? We've got to get back to work. I wanted to apologise again. I mean, I got carried away with this notion of Santa Claus. And he loved all that when he was little. Well, I'm sure Sarah understands that uh, there's no further need for apology. Well, they are to me. Mind love. I don't know. Here, mash your own spuds. I'm up to me neck. Hey, do we get any money off for this? Oh, ask him. You're right. Sarah won't want any visitors today. I'll, I'll come back another time. I think that's be best. Oi! You mash, I eat. Well. Hello, Gail. Hello. How's things? Fine. You see much of Bethany? No. I see her all the time now. She can't get enough of me. Can't she? Well, at that age, they instinctively know who loves them. It took you a long time to acknowledge she existed. She was kept away from me. Only because that's what you wanted. You could have been involved from the start. No, I couldn't. I was never invited into Bethany's life. I should have held her when she was born. I should have watched her grow. I've, I've missed so much. She always had me. She lacked for nothing. Well, she doesn't talk about you anymore. She's learned she can't rely on you. I wanted to know that one grandmother at least will always be available for her. I'll never let her down. They make it sound like she's been abandoned. Well, from her point of view, she has. Two liver and onions. I'll bring them over. Right. Thanks very much. Thank me. It's me that's doing all the cooking. Uh, yeah, thanks, Vera. We aim to please. Mm. And I aim to keep my bunions confined to barracks. My feet are killing me. Customers have no need for that information, Vera. Oh. Anyway, uh... What's the matter with her? I'm not interested. Oh. Well, go on, then. What's bothering you? Brenda Ferns. Honest Martin, I could hit her. She was right here, sound enough, telling me how much Bethany loves her. Yeah, she loves the amount of toys she's buying her. Well, she's twisting her around her little finger. Look, Beth's not going to forget about the grandma she's known from birth. She will if Brenda has anything to do with it. She wants me out of the way. Who cares what she wants? She sees her all the time. I don't see her at all. Yeah, but you will. You and Sarah will soon be friends again. Ah, so this is where you are, then. Oh, hiya. You joining us? Uh, no, Martin, I've been waiting at the flat. I told you I was finishing early. Well, you didn't say we this early. We were supposed to be having lunch. Yeah, OK, we well, can have lunch with me, here. Yeah, well, that's not why I do mind. Well, I'll cancel my meal. I told Martin what I wanted to tell him anyway. No, no, you stay where you are. I'll uh, go boil myself an egg. Sorry? Oh, forget it. Not your fault, is it? Hi, Sarah. Have you seen Nick today? 
Uh, no. Well, has he said anything to you yet? No? About going out with anybody? I haven't seen him. Well, would you know if he fancied somebody else? I wouldn't know and I wouldn't care. Look, I'm in a hurry. I went to the doctor. I thought you said you felt better. I did, but I was a bit worried. What did he say? Nothing much, just kept asking about Beth. She's not sick? No. He just wanted to know if we could cope with her. Well, of course we can. That's obvious enough. What else did he want to know? How you feel about her. Did he tell him, as far as I'm concerned, she's my own child? What if you had another one? Well, it wouldn't make any difference to how I feel about her. Might make it a bit difficult for us, though. Well, we have talked about it. The thing is, Todd, we've done more than talk about it. He did the test. I'm pregnant. 